Welcome. Please take your seats. Dear friends and family, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate Mary and Gerard's wedding. They want to welcome you on this very special day in their lives and thank you all for being here with them. You are the most important and influential people in their lives. Mary and Gerard want to thank you for being their true friends and for being a big part of their family. We are all very happy to be here with them today. It is our responsibility to witness their wedding and continue to support Mary and Gerard throughout their married lives together. Today, I am very happy and proud to be here to be part of their wedding. I feel like my family has grown a little larger because of Mary and Gerard, and if anybody starts crying, I'll get real upset. <laughs> but I want to thank them both for giving me this great honor. After all, marriage is about family, and today I hope you all agree we all become part of a larger family in honor of Mary and Gerard and their wedding. It's been my pleasure to know both Mary and Gerard for some time now. On the many occasions I've seen them together, they've always been truly happy with each other. I remember the first time I met Mary. I told Gerard, you're a lucky man, so don't mess this up. I did use a more colorful man. But honestly, Mary and Gerard are both very lucky to find each other, and I believe they truly belong with one another. Mary and Gerard. Marriage is more than just a single day or event. It's about the promises you make to one another today and those promises that you make and renew daily throughout your lives together. It'll take some work, effort, and patience to make your marriage a success, and it will be a constant learning experience. I'd like to share a few things that could help make any marriage a little happier and more successful. First of all, understand each other. Know the meaning of what you say to each other and also understand what you don't say. Know that the little things can say so much. For example, when Mary says, Gerard, I'm really not that mad at you, you may be in real trouble <laughs> and in need of my next point, which is forgive and forget. Forgive each other's mistakes and forget each other's faults. I'm sure Mary will be doing most of the forgiving, just like wives do in most marriages, or at least that's what my wife does. <laughs> Share everything together, both good and bad. That includes the vet, the Jag, the Porsche, and the Mercedes. <laughs> He'll thank you later. <laughs> the Harley too, the Harley too, I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Give to each other without thinking of getting anything except a smile or a simple thank you in return. You're both allowed to give in, but you're never allowed to give up. Always respect one another and realize that you are two separate people, sometimes with different ideas. You don't belong to each other. You belong with each other and share a common bond. Of course, none of this other stuff matters if you don't love each other. And I can't forget two little words. Can anyone guess? Yes, dear. <laughs> they go a long way in all happy marriages. Mary and Gerard. You are both here today of your own free will and are about to share with us your commitments and promises to each other. May I have the rings, please? You can tell which one draws. The big one. These rings are your gifts to one another. They are symbols of your commitment to each other and are instantly recognized by others to show that you are sharing your lives together in marriage. Wear them throughout your married lives together. Your turn. Gerard, do you take Mary to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you love and care for her for as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to help her when she needs help <clears throat> and to turn to her when you need help? Do you promise to be a faithful and loving husband and to always put the promises you make to her today above all else? You now take the ring, place it on Mary's finger, and repeat after me. I, Gerard, take you, Mary, to be my wife. I, Gerard, take you, Mary, to be my wife. I promise to love, honor, cherish, and respect you. I promise to love, honor, cherish, and respect you. To care for you and protect you. To care for you and protect you. 
to encourage and support you through good times and bad. Today, I give myself to you in marriage for all the days in our lives. He didn't read that. He went right. <laughs> Mary, do you take Gerard to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you love and care for him for as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to help him when he needs help and to turn to him when you need help? Do you promise to be a faithful and loving wife and to always put the promises you make to him this day above all else? Can you take the ring, please, and place it on Gerard's hand. I, Mary, choose you, Gerard, to be my husband, my best friend, and my one and only true love. I promise to love, honor, respect, and cherish you, to comfort and encourage you through good times and bad. Today, I give myself to you in marriage for all the days in our lives. All the days in our lives. Please hold hands. That's the right <laughs> Mary and Gerard, may you always see and encourage the best in each other. May the challenges that life brings your way make your marriage grow stronger. May you always be each other's best friend and greatest love. May God bless you both and help you live happily ever after together. We all wish you both the very best. As Mary and Gerard have consented of their own free will to join their lives in marriage before their family and friends, by the authority of the state of New York, I pronounce you both now as your hearts have always known you to be, husband and wife. Dear friends and extended family, I now have the great honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Gerard Marangiello. Husband and wife.